Hey everybody, Dr. Nelson here. Uh, this is an interactive video lesson on the percent equation. So what we're going to do, we're going to do a couple problems together on the first page. So I want you to take notes with me. And then you have a chance to pause the video and try a couple problems on your own. And then at the end you can see how you did. Alright, so what exactly is the percent equation? Well, the percent equation is basically an equation that allows you to uh, solve simple, basic uh, percent problems. So, and basically here it is. It's the part equals the percent times the whole number. So the, the part equals the percent times the whole number. And the really important thing about this is the percent always needs to be written in decimal form. So let's write down percent must be written in decimal form. All right, so let's just dive into the first, first problem here. So it says, what is 32% of 260? Well, the 32%, that's obviously the percent, and the 260, that's the whole amount, right? So we're trying to figure out the part. So the part is gonna be the unknown, so we're gonna say N is gonna equal, right? 32% as a decimal is 0 0.32, or 32 hundredths, times the 260. And when I do 3200s times 260, I did, did this already, the answer ends up being 83.2. And there's your answer. So 32% of 260 is 83.2. But the percent equation is also useful for problems like this. This one says 8 is 5% of what number? All right, so again, they give us the percent, but this time they give us the part and not the whole number. So the equation for this one is going to be 8, because that's the part, and that's going to equal 5% as a decimal is 0 0.05, or 5 hundredths, times the unknown, which is n. So this one's a little bit trickier to solve for, because we have to solve for n. So 8 is going to equal 0.05n, and then to solve for n, well, this means 0 0.05 times n, right? So the opposite of timesing is dividing. So I'm going to divide both sides by 0 0.05 or 5 hundredths. And when I do that, we now have the n all by itself. That's what we want. And n is going to be, when I, when I do 8 divided by 5 hundredths, we get an answer of 160. And there's your answer. So 8 is 5% of 160. So the percent equation is actually pretty easy to use. Um, you just gotta make sure you know what it is and know uh, which numbers to plug into the equation and then finally know how to solve equations. All right, so why don't you pause the video and try the your turn now problem. So when you're done, hit play. You can see how you did. All right, good luck. All right, welcome back. Let's say I do these practice problems. So the first question was, what is 20% of 90? Okay, so they give us the percentage and they give us the whole amount, right? So this one, to write the equation, it's gonna be n equals, now 20% as a decimal is 0 0.2 times 90. And then to get the answer, all I have to do is do 2 tenths times 90, and that gives me an, an answer of 18. And there it is, so 20% of 90 should be 18. Now the second one, it says 10 is 15% of what number? So th again, they give us the percentage, but this time they give us the part, so we need to solve for the whole amount. So the equation for this one should have been 10 equals 15 hundredths times the unknown n, and then to solve for it, it's gonna be 10 equals 15 hundredths n, and you need to divide both sides by 15 hundredths, and when you do 10 divided by 15 hundredths, you should have gotten 66 and two thirds equals n. And there's your answer. All right, how'd you do?